And within UW Lacrosse's Murphy Library is something called Special Collections. Librarians there work to preserve and provide access to materials that often require special handling. Now, that part of the library also contains items reflecting Wisconsin history, including one element of interest to many in this area, enhanced, as News 19's Dave Soley explains, with three recent donations, one of which they're now working to organize. It's a work in progress, but yes. we're getting there. David Mendel is working to organize a collection of steamboat memorabilia donated by the estate of David Thompson of California. We're talking probably a thousand um, postcards and photographs. And about 500 books about steamboats, related items from pins to logs and requisition forms. You know, lots of these other sorts of original the Ohio River Company steamer manifest, you know, so. All kinds of similar items that help understand more about steamboat travel. Items including three steamboat models. I was amazed that these made it intact. Um, it was pretty, pretty interesting to see them, you know, with the forklift taken off the truck, all crated up, you know, like, and, uh, but it was, they were packed really well. As were all the other items David is working to organize. But because of the daunting number of pieces in this collection, he's not doing that job alone, still. When you saw what you had here, did it feel a bit overwhelming even to somebody <laughs> who's involved in this? Yes, yeah. He collected, what, thousands of boat pictures of unique boats. So um, my one table turned into two tables, which turned into every flat space because I was running out of room of how to organize them because there's just so many. Uh, just a lot of these original documents and freight bills. And David says they're in the initial stage of the work, leading to digitization of much of this material. And while the work is challenging, they're pleased to add to the impressive steamboat collection. They're also proud that the Thompson Estate chose the UWL for the work. I think when somebody donates a collection like this, they, they want to make sure that it's going to a place that, that can handle it, um, that it's relevant so that other people are going to find the material um, and, uh, and that you, feel, you have a good feeling about it. In this case, that place was special collections at UW La Crosse, including two humble people, David and Nikki, working to make this magnificent collection accessible. In La Crosse, Dave Soley, WXOW, News 19. A special collection has also received a donation of steamboat materials from the estate of La Crosse native Richard Egan, who lived in Oregon, and a donation of steamboat photos from the Winona County Historical Society. Now, without those gifts, Mendel says they would not have the resources to create the steamboat and other collections that they have.